Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, everybody. Welcome back. Your man, Dominic K. In here, of course, the Dominic K. Show on RadioOnFire.com. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for tuning in. Now, here on the program, we deliver the biggest political and trending news stories of the day with original reporting from across this country. Show is fun, show is upbeat, but I also want to expose what is really going on. And there's a lot going on. We got to talk about President Biden. I, I, I don't know what's going on with him. He's getting some very, very bad uh, advice. And uh, I, I don't know where he's getting this exactly from, but fam, I mean, he has... He's been wrong, and you expect people to be wrong, but how wrong can you be? How wrong can you be? We're going to talk about what the Biden administration, uh, the latest uh, hoopla with, uh, with, with the Bidens. And Joe, Joe Biden is saying that families of separated children deserve compensation. What are, I mean, what are you talking about? Here's what they deserve. They deserve to be reunited, but they don't deserve taxpayer money. So the president says today, uh, President Joe Biden says that families that were separated from their parents at the U.S.-Mexico border during the Trump administration should be compensated and that his Department of Justice is working on that. Um, got a lot to say about that. We're going to do this. We're going to take a quick break, and we're going to come back with more of the show. Got a lot to say. Welcome back, you man, Dom K. And we're talking about President Biden, who is saying that the Department of Justice, the DOJ, should compensate these folks. They're having settlement talks right now with affected families. The president raised his voice. You know, he got he got mad about it, said that regardless of circumstances, People had, who had their children taken from them under the Trump administration's family separation policy meant to deter families from crossing into the U.S. illegally, they, they need to be paid. If, in fact, because of the outrageous behavior of the last administration, you coming across the border, whether it was legally or illegally, and you lost your child, you lost your child. It's gone. You deserve some kind of compensation, no matter what the circumstance. Come on, Joe. What are you talking about? Like, this is the kind of stuff that Democrats do. And Republicans are able to use this stuff against them. Okay. Joe Biden clearly does not speak for all Democrats. Uh, Democrats. And the words that are coming out of his mouth sound crazy. Biden said that what that will be, I have no idea. I have no idea. You are right, Joe Biden, President Biden. You have no idea. You have no idea what you're talking about. This is ridiculous. He says, let me read this again. If, in fact... Because of the outrageous behavior of the last administration, you coming across the border, whether it was legally or illegally, and you lost your child, you lost your child, it's gone. You deserve some kind of compensation, no matter what the circumstance. When Republicans talk about Democrats want open borders, generally speaking, I'm like, what are you talking about? That's not true. Democrats don't want open borders. Democrats, uh, you know, care about immigration the same way anybody else does. I say those things, and I've said those things on this show. But when the president makes 
idiotic statements like this. Idiotic statements. I mean, Joe Biden has been royally screwing things up. And, you know, I, I mean, you, I can't lie. I can't, I can't act like he's not when he is ruining a perfectly good opportunity with things like this. I mean, Democrats just had, I'm going to say it was a tough time uh, for the, the, the uh, elections that, that just passed on Tuesday, right? Tough time, mainly because of national politics, which fall in the lap of Joe Biden, right? Then he turns right around and says some of this kind of stuff. You basically are making Republican ads for them. They're going to use these words against Demo- not just Joe Biden. They're going to use them against all Democrats. All Democrats are going to be lumped into this uh, category of seemingly like they want open borders, seemingly like they want to reward people that came to cross the border illegally. And he's saying it doesn't matter what the circumstances are. That's what he said. Uh, it, it just It just sounds ridiculous. It sounds like this guy is out of his mind. Well, I I can't even think of what what type of of uh, of adult is going to honestly say these things. So, shortly after taking office, Joe Biden created a task force to attempt to reunify hundreds of children and parents affected by the policy. This I agree with. Okay, if they were separated, we can reunite them. But why in the hell would we pay them? <laughs> We're going to we're going to give them a payment. <laughs> that sounds crazy. That sounds ridiculous. That does not sound like something that a politician who claims to care about immigration, who claims to care about border security. This is not something that a a politician would do of sound mind and sound body. I I, I mean or I, I don't know. So the government was considering payments of around, uh, check this out, considering payments around 450 k to each person affected, but has since changed that figure. Oh, we can't get our roads and bridges fixed. He does, and he's mad about this, right? He, he stomped his feet. He's, I'm mad. We need to give money to, to uh, people that cross the border illegally or legally. I don't care. Like, what are you talking about, right? He, he can't stand up for the infrastructure. He's letting Joe Manchin push him around, cinema push him around. Hey, uh, could you please think about booting for this? He's he's you know dragging his feet with that. Oh, but he's he's serious about this. 450k to each person affected, right? So they've changed the figure, not dramatically. It, it's not a big change, right? And um, so that's that's what they're talking about, according to the Associated Press. Associated Press, uh, and uh, you know, this discussions are continuing. Uh, There's no guarantee that the two sides will strike an agreement. But this type of uh, uh, rhetoric out there and and him talking so, you know, boldly and angry, he's angry about uh, the Trump administration. Yes, Trump administration did some things that were not good, right? Everything that Trump did wasn't bad. Now, I by no means am someone who voted for Trump, but at the same time, this is, is, is too much. This is this is too much. So about, I don't know, 5,500 children were split from their parents under Donald Trump's zero tolerance policy. Okay? Now, here's the thing. Circumstances in the home country, bad. Right? Okay. I can accept that. So they come to the border. You've got to go through the process. If you don't go through the process... Uh, I mean, I don't know what I can tell you, but whatever happens can happen and bad things can happen. Worse things would have happened had they stayed in their country, right? Their home country. So you want to come to America, you got to go through the process. You don't go through the process and you get separated from your child. You knew you weren't going through the right process, but you get separated from your child. I, I mean, what if the child, what if the child, they're trying to cross the river and the child dies and drowns? Are we supposed to pay them then as well? Listen, I feel sorry for these people. I do. But this is not the answer. And with Democrats having Joe Biden making these type of suggestions, these type of statements, these type 
of foolish, foolish policy suggestions. Just the suggestions of this hurt Democrats, hurt their chances for re-election. You have a lot of Democrats, vulnerable Democrats, and Joe Biden's foolishness is damaging to them. So uh, under Donald Trump's zero tolerance policy, which we didn't like, and I believe that those children should be reunited with their parents, but pay taxpayer money? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So under the, 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 the policy, which the parents were separated from the children to face criminal prosecution for crossing the border illegally, according to the court filings in a federal case in San Diego, right? So uh, inadequate tracking systems cause many to be apart for an extended time. And I am sad about that. I am really sad. Cause them to be apart for an extended amount of time. But the payments are intended to compensate for psychological trauma. Psychological trauma. Unbelievable. And then you're going to have Republicans saying that they are trying to pay these, uh, uh, you know, immigrants and, you know, it just, it just, it looks foul. It sounds foul. The amount of money that they're talking about paying, this is crazy. You talking about $5, you ain't talking about $20, 450,000 and, and maybe a little bit lower than that. Right. Attorneys for the families are also seeking permanent legal status in this country for those separated under the practice. So not only are we going to give them a large amount of money for basically doing nothing but breaking the law, breaking the laws of the United States, we're also going to give them permanent legal status. Yeah, whatever. So the judge halted this this uh, uh, back in June 2018, six days after Trump stopped it under this pressure. I mean, this is they're they're, see, they're seeking the permanent legal status for those separated under the policy. So the judge halted in June and um, uh, 2018, and then Trump stopped it. Uh, there was a lot of pressure. It was screwed up. Could have been handled differently. There was a surge of uh, immigrants. It was a, a an uptick. Something had to be done. Was this the best thing to do? No. I mean, the other option, of course, putting the children in prison with their parents. I mean, was that was that a better solution? I mean, it, it's not really a lot of great, you know, solutions to that problem. And this problem is persisting now. But Joe Biden, in his infinite wisdom slash stupidity, comes up with this, and I hope, I hope that this does not happen. Of course, you're listening to the Diamond K Show here on Radio on Fire. Radio on Fire is Black Voices giving you the American story. New episodes of the program drop Monday through Friday, 8 a.m., but I don't want you to miss any of our live broadcasts. In addition to our 8 a.m. program, we drop content throughout the day as news happens. Hit that notification bell so you get an alert whenever we go live. Follow the Diamond K Show on our Facebook page. Click that bell. As I said, get that notification. The Diamond K Show is a Radio on Fire production. You can get the show on demand at Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, WRF Radio, the app, or YouTube.com slash DJ Diamond K, or however you are hearing this program. You can scroll your timeline, attend a Zoom meeting on mute, do some online shopping all while listening to the Diamond K Show. Radio Fire is an advertiser-supported radio and video network. Get breaking news, podcasts, and TV shows that cover topics important to our culture. Radio Fire is where you go to discover, engage, and connect with the latest news, podcasts, and original TV programs. You want to support the Diamond K Show? Very easy to do that. You want to help this digital network? Head on over to RadioFire.com, grab a T-shirt, or some other merch, become a sponsor of the Diamond K Show. For as little as $50, I'm able to deliver our news and our views on this program because of our listeners and sponsors. Radio on Fire is powered by the people, and we appreciate your support. I will be back here tomorrow 
Joe Biden needs to get himself together. He sounds crazy. He sounds crazy. 